Hey guys, my name is Dale, and today I want to talk to you about pictures. So, pictures are really important to me, my family, and I think most people around the world in general. And I think it's fascinating how the culture about picture taking is not only different between family units, because obviously certain families have a different attitude towards what they do with pictures after they take them, but the general shift in the world and especially the United States and, and countries that have access to things like digital photography, the change in how we treat pictures and what we do with pictures after we take them. And I wanted to just talk about that a bit because I think it's something that's worth kind of bringing to more people's attention. And I'd love to hear your guys' stories about how your family treats pictures and what kind of pictures do you have about yourself and what do you do with your pictures after you take them. So it, this all really occurred to me in 2014 um, and I was thinking about it before, but it really kind of hit me then. Um, after I had a, my great-grandmother, I call her Nana, I'll just call her Nana for now on. Um, after she passed away in her home, um, we had a bunch of family there with her as she passed away. And it was in her living room, and I couldn't help but look at all the pictures around her because uh, there were people around her and I just needed to kind of like take a step back. So while looking around her home, and looking around her living room especially, she had quite a huge collection of pictures and picture frames and just pictures of people's lives. But I noticed that they kind of cut off around the mid-2000s. Right around the time dig digital photography, excuse me, um, was really starting to take off. And I think that's that really kind of speaks towards a, a overall trend that I've been seeing in most people's like households. When I, whenever I went to other people's homes, um, typically photo albums, not that I go see everybody's, every family's photo album, but like family members of mine personally and close friends who have photo albums, um, they really kind of cut off at a particular point in most cases. Now there's some people who do make an effort to print off pictures, but they really kind of cut off around the mid-2000s, and all the pictures are just on computers or in a, an SD card that kind of is tucked away and people forget about it. And I, I find that really alarming. I think taking pictures and having physical copies is really important. I think it's important to have both a digital and a physical copy. And I've gone out of my way to, in more recent times, try to scan over hundreds of pictures. It's actually quite overwhelming, especially when they are being scanned in a PNG file. So if you know the difference between a JPEG and a PNG, I want them in a PNG because it doesn't deteriorate and um, the quality of the photo stays better. And, but they're huge, so my, my computer storage gets really kind of um, full. I've got 22 gigabytes of just pictures that I have scanned. It's, that's a lot, and it's really not that many pictures I've scanned so far in comparison to what I actually have overall. So I've had a grandmother growing up, um, believe it or not. Uh, um, her name was Adrienne. She is my French grandmother. I called her Meme, and that is her. She recently passed away, not, the, my, not Nana, but um, Meme, Mimi, as I called her growing up. And um, she took tons, and I mean tons, of pictures. She had a camera on her all the time. Um, even when she moved into digital photography, even later on in her life, um, she still always made an effort to get um, physical copies of her pictures. Now, occasionally she did but upload to one to Facebook. She had a Facebook account. Um, she would always try to have physical copies. So she was one of the few people that I knew that actually had a really full photo album of people up until, like, 2013, 2012, 2010, in ways that I really didn't see anybody else doing. And I, it got me really thinking about how just the attitude of pictures, both of those situations have been changing. Because obviously, if you're, when you had the film, you, like, for taking pictures, you had it in the, like, the little film cases, you had to get those developed. And when you had them developed, then you had actual physical copies of the pictures, because then you were actually kind of really seeing them again for the first time. So it was easier to get copies of those and give those to other people and so on and so forth. But with digital pictures, we don't really do that. And when it comes to older people, like my Nana, who's my great-grandmother, she didn't really get on Facebook. She didn't have a means to really acquire any pictures but what people were giving her. And once that kind of jump happened to the digital, people, like, people weren't giving Nana pictures. So I have obviously been trying to both make digital copies of old pictures. I've been scanning old pictures. Uh, obviously, my grandmother, my French one, um, she takes a lot of pictures. There's my mom, my grandfather, and my grandmother. Um, and I have so many pictures I gotta take. Um, scan copies of there's me being extremely enthusiastic over this picture. And there's me growing up. But I think what's really important 
is just making sure that you have them protected. You have copies, you have them saved. Because we're taking more pictures than ever, but we're not making physical copies. And I have found more times than you can probably imagine, especially in a family that really loves taking pictures, that they're on SD cards and you can't get access to them. People forget them, lose them, and you have no means of getting those pictures back. I have a old computer from 2001, two. When my father got like a really fancy computer and he started doing digital photography really early on. So the photos are crap quality, which I'm very upset about um, because you can't like, when I scan these pictures, I can actually like blow them up so I get them really huge. Can't really do that with digital photography in the same sense. Um, at least it's not a, like, there might be a way to do it. It's really complex. But um, what I, I found with this computer is recently trying to start it up and getting the pictures out of it. I can't. The, pic the computer won't start up. I have probably seven years of my life and my brother's life and my father's life of photos in a computer that I cannot start up. And there are n almost no physical copies of those photos. And I got to figure out a way to get on that computer and at least get them off. And I am very upset about that because that was right during the brink of when photos were, like I said, um, transitioning from being di uh, digital. Um, right around the early 2000s especially. And we're out of luck. We are completely out of luck if I can't get that computer started. And I'm thankful that I have people like my meme who were taking tons of pictures during that period. But that's a whole chunk of like my life that people were taking pictures of that I might not be able to get back if I can't get that computer started. And that's something that I find kind of sad. I find it kind of terrifying almost. Because, like I say, pictures are so important to me. And having things that remember me of like my childhood and having a physical copy be able to show people. I don't have to get log on Facebook. I don't have to get, I have these pictures, they're mine. Not all of them are good. There are some pretty crabby pictures that are never going to get on Facebook. But I love that. I love that there's pictures that are only mine. I love that there are pictures, I can't just delete them. I mean, I could throw the picture away. But I enjoy the bad pictures. I enjoy that my mother would never upload that to Facebook. Well, maybe she would, I don't know. Um, her hair is out of whack. She probably would flip. But, um, but that's me and my mom. And I mean, having that picture means so much to me, and I want to scan it, but there are points in my life later on where I have photos that are just as important to me as this one that I might not be able to get access to. So what I always tell people is make some time, if you have the opportunity, to make some physical copies of photos. If you have issues with digital, like the digital aspect of it, you might never get those photos back. And that is something that I think is really important for people to take into consideration. I mean, a lot of people upload photos to Facebook, but not all your photos go on Facebook. There are ones that are special to you, that are private, and that are more personal, that you don't want to upload. And if something happens to those devices, you've lost them. You're out of luck. So I just wanted to kind of like share that with you guys. I mean, this is nothing like, it's not like a giant PSA, uh, but I did feel like it was something that meant a lot to me. And I mean, Growing up, it's amazing how many photos were taken of me to a point that were printed off and then there's a cutoff line, especially with digital photography. So as you take pictures in your life, print as many of them off. I mean, printers nowadays, I would still recommend trying to get like a fancy print and not like just on paper because those don't really last that. They're not that good quality. It's on the hair. Um, but um, I would, that's something I definitely think is important for people to start taking into consideration. So I know I'm kind of rambling. Um, maybe I can make a cool video on Think Fact about this in the future. Um, but it's something that has just been really important to me and something I feel is really important to tell other people. I mean, I have tons of, this is like a very small chunk of photos. I have albums. I have my mother, I have my whole mother's family. I have a large chunk of my father's family. Um, and my parents are divorced, so I've got all my stepfather's photos. I've got, um, many of my stepmother. My dad and my stepmother, like that whole relationship, that whole time, which is a long period, is in that computer. And though my father and my stepmother aren't actually together, yes, yeah, stories, drama, um, that's still photos I want to keep. That's a part of my life that's important, and that's in that, that computer. It's sitting right there, that's why I'm pointing in that direction, that I might not be able to get back. And I wish we would have made physical copies, and, and I think that's something that kind of goes over people's heads sometimes, if something fails. Like, the bad photos are just as important as the good photos. And I think that's what old photography back in the day, when you just kind of took that picture in that moment, if it was bad, it was bad. You couldn't tell until you got the physical copy, like this one. It's got like a, like a, like a big thing right there, so it wouldn't make it. But that's a special photo. That's my mom in her 
early 90s hair. <laughs> Love you, Mom. <laughs> Not that my hair isn't any crazier. Um, apples and fall fire from the tree, huh? But, um, I, I think that those photos are just as important as the good ones. And today we delete so many photos because we always get that perfect one. And that's fine. I think that's fine. Take a good photo if you can get a good one. But I love the bad photos too. And I feel like it's important to just keep as many photos as you can and have both a digital and a physical copy somewhere. Especially the ones that are the most important to you and you'd be the most upset of losing. As I see things like what's happening in Louisiana with the recent flooding and just anywhere, house fires. I see just people lose so much of their family history and so much just by having physical copies or digital copies. Put it somewhere that it can be protected. If you're going to make a physical copy, have it somewhere that it can be copied again and try to keep that safe. And if you have a digital copy, don't keep it on your computer. Keep it like in a, like a, a hard drive. Somewhere that is protected from fire and water or maybe put it in a safety deposit box. I don't know. Put it somewhere. But keep your photos. Because when a photo is deleted, when it is truly gone, whether it be a physical digital copy of your computer, it's gone. So many people have, I know, have just been devastated by losing so much of their family history, so much of their own life's history. And I know some people are like, ah, oh, just enjoy the moment. I think that's hogwash sometimes. Because you know what? Photos are us. They are an extension of our memories in a format that has never been possible for in history. And I love that. I never would have been able to know about my mother's bridal shower or my mother's baby shower if it wasn't for these photos. And if people are just like, I'll just live in the moment, that's a whole, like, this gives me access to a whole perspective I would have never been able to have without the photo. And I, I think maybe it's one thing to argue about. You don't need to take pictures of like when you go on a vacation in the sense like you're just taking a picture of the, I, the Tower of Pisa. I mean, maybe for yourself, I don't know, that's a whole different field. But I think when it comes to just points in your life, never be afraid to take a picture of yourself. Never be afraid to take a picture of your family and things that matter to you. And make sure you have a digital and physical copy. So this is just kind of off the cuff. I'm not scripted. Um, I have the picture of the raccoon. If you guys got this far and you remember my old video, um, I'll put a link in the description or an annotation right here. There's the raccoon. Um, I think there's a, there's a name on top of it. It looks like it's like Toby or Topi with a P. I don't know. I didn't actually put that in the video. So that's a little think fact extra for you guys. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, with photos are important to me. And that's, that actually kind of like scanning all those photos was actually some of the inspiration um, behind that video that I made, Will You Be Forgotten? Or Will Your Existence Be Forgotten? So with that, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me know how your family treats pictures. If you have ever thought about not printing off enough pictures, or even if you, if you, if it cares or you matter or whatever, I am slurring my speech. I'm tired. Um, but I think um, this is a really fascinating topic. And I love to talk about pictures with people and I love showing people pictures. So um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know your feelings. And I, I hope this is something that you found a little like something that kind of brings a little more awareness over this issue into your life. And maybe you'll start trying to um, treat the pictures you take and what you do after you take them a little differently. So Thank you, and thank you, Meme and Nana. I know you are, you've passed from this world. Um, but if it wasn't for you two, I probably wouldn't have come to this realization as at this point in my life, maybe. So, um, love you both. Um, so I'll dedicate this video to you or whatever. Um, I miss ya. And I want to thank you guys for watching. So, thank you again. I'm becoming redundant. And take care. Bye.